guys, how's it going? It is Eve, and today we are going to be checking out the new Rupture, Broadsword, and Munin halls that are currently live on Singularity and will be uh, probably going to be going live on the Summer Expansion. So Singularity is prepped up with a lot of the Summer Expansion stuff, so we will be taking a look at that in the next few days. So here we are. This is currently on screen right now is the old Rupture Hall. There is a huge difference between the old hall and the new hall, you will see that in just a second. I do have to say, the Rupture was, in my personal opinion, never my favorite ship to look at. I just didn't really like it in just the hallway. Uh, but I digress, the new hall is... The, you, you need to bring up your own opinion. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and have a look at the new Rupture Hall. So this here on screen right now is the new Rupture Hall. This is currently live on Singularity. And yes, it does have its fair share of animations. Not too many actually, but it does. Uh, back in the old time with the Broadsword broad and the Munin, the halls for the most part were relatively the same. The only difference were the lights on the ship and the color of the hull. The three ships now actually have a completely different look, you will see here pretty soon. I will be putting up a side-by-side-by-side -by -side -by -side comparison of the three new hulls, and you will be able to see the distinct difference between the three ships. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and actually just warp this ship to the station. Let's go ahead, and we will be able to see its fair share of animations. As you can see, really the only animations it has are its turret hardpoint covers. You have six per side. Oops. Not much of a cover when the whole side is exposed. You can see right through all the hardpoints. Here we are, we're about to exit warp. Here are the panels slowly going to be opening up. And then the turret part points kind of eject outwards of the ship. So that is it for the rupture and we will be taking a look at the broadsword next. So here we have the broadsword. I do apologize in advance if this ship is a little bit hard to see on screen. This is because, well, the hull is for the most part entirely black. So it is a little bit hard to see in space. But regardless, this is the broadsword. It has its pretty big significant difference. is mainly located here at the front section of the ship. As you can see, compared to the rupture, the whole area or the front no section of the ship is a different in a lot of ways it does have its more animate it does have more animations than the rupture and overall a new hull for a old classic ship here we have the broadsword Up, we're gonna go ahead and warp it back to the station and we will have a look at its animations as you can see the uh, turret hardpoints already went down the front little hooks for lack of a better term did come in closer to the ship they got retracted and the front panels also actually closed while the ship entered warp We are exiting warp. As 
you can see the front part does go back out and the panels do slide back out and the turn part hard points like in any ship ready for combat they do re-engage next up we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at the final version of the rupture the munit So for the last ship we have here, this is the new redesigned Munin Hall. Compared to the old one, it is a very big step up. As like I said before, the old hall of the Munin and the Broadsword was basically just a retextured rupture hall. You can see this, the, the new redesign actually does give the ship a whole different variety it does stand out more on the battlefield or just flying around without spoiling too much this ship doesn't have very much in terms of animations it does have a cool little effect whoops right here up on its nose section this actually does turn blue when you enter warp other than that the animations are the same across the other two ships the hard points retract and get covered up by their covers. And so we are gonna go ahead and actually just warp the Munin back to the station. Make sure you pay attention to this front section. Like I said, it does actually change a little bit. Let's go ahead and warp. There we go. Here we are. Here we are actually entering warp now. As you can see, it actually did change from its orangey glow to an actual blue. It actually does kind of look like a shield here in a way. Of some sorts. Regardless of that, this is the new Munin Hall that is set to be released in the next EVE Online expansion. So here we are, exiting warp. Once again, the hard points will open and the turrets will actually make their way out of the ship there we go and there we go there's a little kind of a hidden feature I'm not too sure if this will actually stay with the ship it might actually just be a little bug however if I were to actually just align to for example this planet you can actually pay if you pay attention close to no section there is a little kind of a fire trail or a rust falling off trail actually coming off of the ship itself. Let's see if we can get another look at that. Here we go. Oops, I believe I pressed the wrong button. Align two. Here we are. As you can see, it is right down there. This is not very visible. However, it is very visible should you be making some pretty wide turns like these ones here. That way, the ship will turn at a more aggressive angle and it is more visible. And so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the new Rupture redesign and I hope you will enjoy it once it is live on Tranquility. So that is it for this video, guys. Flat Dangerous. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You guys can check out my other previous videos by clicking the two uh, thumbnails on screen right now. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Fly Dangerous. Peace.